Hello, welcome to another session of Digital Surgical Pathology Signout. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel and our program part of the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy. Uh, I'm coming to you from the campus of the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center where our cases are drawn from the case files and interesting uh, uh, clinical encounters we uh, meet. Uh, so today's case is uh, that of a 44-year-old woman who has uh, developed an itchy red vulvar patch and that's been present for about six months. Uh, so uh, coming to a gynecologist, they examine her and uh, find no adenopathy, no uh, specific uh, mass lesion, and uh, significantly no uh, known risk factors for carcinoma or other sexually transmitted diseases. So uh, encountering an erythematous uh, plaque or erythroplakia, as it's uh, termed, uh, a number of clinical things enter into the consideration. One, of course, would be uh, several skin disorders, primary skin disorders, such as lichen planus uh, or psoriasis. Relatively specific to the vulvar area, we might think about lichen sclerosis edetrophicus, as well as uh, Bowen's disease or erythroplasia of karat, uh, essentially squamous cell carcinoma in situ. Uh, we might also consider Paget's disease along with several other disorders. Uh, as possibilities. Uh, so that's a, a fairly significant uh, differential uh, for consideration and prompted uh, the need for a biopsy. So a small uh, fragment of this uh, plaque-like area was excised um, to give us a, uh, a view of that and we'll take a look at high magnification at some of these uh, areas. Uh, we can see at low power that the epithelium is not very thickened um, in fact, it's uh, really quite atrophic or thinned, uh, and that there is this dense uh, blue band of uh, cells uh, beneath it. <clears throat> so coming into higher magnification, we see that uh, indeed the squamous epithelium here uh, has a degree of uh, atypia, but it really looks more sort of reactive or atrophic. Uh, and what's going on here is this very dense uh, inflammatory infiltrate uh, deep to the mucosa. Uh, as we come into higher magnification, we can see that virtually all of these cells uh, have plasma cytoid features. They have eccentric nuclei, somewhat uh, clock-faced appearance of chromatin, occasional binucleate forms, and uh, sort of this amphiphilic uh, uh, bluish-purple uh, cytoplasm, uh, which shows a number of uh, paranuclear Hof uh, type formations. Uh, looking further, we don't see other uh, inflammatory cells in this disorder. Uh, there is some capillary, uh, capillary dilatation here uh, and some superficial venular dilatation, which no doubt accounts for the sort of glistening and uh, erythematous uh, uh, feeling uh, that was, uh, or appearance that was uh, noted. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, the uh, infiltrate here uh, certainly would account for some sense of there being a slight plaque-like appearance or uh, texture to this uh, lesion. So uh, dense plasmacytic infiltrate, band-like pattern, well that doesn't fit uh, uh, the uh, diagnosis of uh, lichen planus. Uh, that's usually a lymphoplasmacytic process, uh, has a little bit more undulation, doesn't fit with uh, psoriasis. Um, so here's another example uh, from a different patient of this similar disorder, a little bit less um, atrophy of the squamous mucosa, perhaps not here quite as, as densely. But here again, we see a plasma cell rich, plasma cell predominant process. And here we're seeing a little bit of perikeratosis. So this would raise a slightly different differential of consideration, including uh, lichen sclerosis. Um, and might prompt some additional immunohistochemical stains. But our uh, reference patient today uh, is actually uh, plasma cell vulvitis or Zunes vulvitis uh, in the uh, penile or male genitalia. This is called, uh, also called Zunes uh, balanitis uh, and is typified by these reddish brown plaques, uh, sometimes multiple, uh, that have a little bit of a glistening sheen to them. Uh, definitely, they're more frequently seen in men uh, where uh, the lack of circumcision is uh, felt to be a, a risk factor. Uh, but it, really, the etiology is undefined, although this might make us think it's related to some infectious inflammatory uh, process. Uh, the epidermal atrophy with reactive changes is uh, not uh, infrequently seen. 
uh, and characteristically, this very band-like, uh, dense plasmacytic infiltrate is characteristic. Uh, treatment, of course, for these is not surgical, but usually uh, topical steroids, antibiotics, occasionally uh, hemicrolimus uh, cream. Uh, in males, uh, of course, circumcision can be uh, uh, palliative and uh, help reduce the, the uh, persistence or risk of uh, continuation. Um, now, what this is not is uh, uh, allergic dermatitis, uh, which can look a lot like this. Now, here's, a, again, a case where we have a little bit of, um, you know, epidermal uh, epithelial atrophy or thinning. We have a band-like pattern, no undulation here, no dermal sclerosis or submucosal sclerosis. Uh, and we have uh, quite a number of plasma cells uh, here in the infiltrate. But look what else is here. We have uh, scattered eosinophils both within the dermis and up here in the epidermis. And so this would be something where we would want to exclude uh, some sort of a topical uh, contact dermatitis or vulvitis or other chronic uh, irritant as a possibility before we made the diagnosis of uh, Zoom's vulvitis. So our final sign out diagnosis today is uh, plasma cell vulvitis, Zoom's vulvitis, if you will. Uh, not, an, uh, not a common disease, but uh, something to be aware of. Well, we hope you enjoyed that program and that if you did, you'll uh, share this with uh, your colleagues and friends and please subscribe so that you'll uh, catch future releases from our channel. Um, and also uh, it helps us to be aware of uh, what your needs are if you uh, provide comments or uh, input uh, in terms of things you'd like to see covered on the channel, uh, either by myself or by uh, some of my colleagues and, and guests that we may be able to induce, induce to join us. So until next time, thanks so much for joining us.